Hi there, it's Rios from Cut Academy and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to do a super easy animated split screen effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's take a look at the effect you'll be able to achieve if you follow along with this tutorial. So as you can see we've got some nice smooth animation for each segment as they slide in and we've got three different segments on the screen at the end of it. So I've got three clips in my timeline here. As you can see they're the same three clips that I just showed you in the example that we went through at the start. I want the next clip to slide in three seconds into the first clip so I'm going to drag my playhead to three seconds and then I'm going to drag this next clip on top and line it up with the playhead. Make sure you have the snap tool toggled on here otherwise it's not going to snap into place like you've just seen it did for me. To get this second clip in a split screen we're going to go to effects so at the moment we're in our editing panel we go down to the bottom left we press this double arrow here and we scroll down to effects and then we're going to search for an effect called crop so that's c-o-r-p crop under transform and we're going to drag and drop that onto our top clip here now using this crop effect, we want to make our crop equate to 50% so that it takes up exactly half of the frame. So as you can see, we've got a lot of space on the right side and we haven't got as much space on the left side. So I'm going to take away 30% uh, from the right and 20% from the left, or we could try 40, 10, let's see. So from the right hand side, let's go for 40%. Okay, that cuts off a little bit too much. So let's go to 30%. And then on the left side, let's try 20% and that's exactly 50% now. So as you can see, 20 plus 30 equals 50. So this is gonna take up half of our frame. Once we've done that, we can then use the position tool over here at the top under motion to arrange where our segment will be. In this case, we're gonna drag it right to the edge and just make sure there's no gap either side. As you can see, there's a tiny gap here. So what I can do is I can just drag it a tiny bit more. We can now animate this next clip in instead of it just appearing harshly as it will currently. So if you watch, you'll see it just jumps in like that. We want it to animate in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop a keyframe in the position uh, toggle under motion. So we press this button here that drops a new keyframe onto our timeline here. And then we're going to drop another keyframe before that keyframe, which will be our starting keyframe. So we're going to press this keyframe toggle here. Now we have one keyframe at the start and one keyframe where we want our effect to end. Using these arrows here, we can quickly toggle between our two keyframes. So I'm going to press go to previous keyframe here, and that's going to take us back to the start. And then I'm going to pull out this image so that it's not even in the frame at all when it first appears. So as you can see, let's just press this button. So there's nothing, there's no sign of our new image here. And then what we'll do is we'll drag along and you'll see that this now animates in because we've made two keyframes, one for the start and one for the end. I'm gonna drag this first keyframe right at the start because I want it to come in right at the start. And then I'm gonna press shift and press the arrow key which will show us exactly five frames on the timeline. So I'm gonna do this four times because I find between 10 and 20 frames is kind of the ideal amount for this effect. And then I'm gonna just drag the last keyframe to there. Now, just to make this animation a little better, we're gonna use ease in under temporal interpolation and you just get to this menu by pressing right click over your keyframes. Make sure you highlight all the keyframes you wanna apply this on and then click ease in. And now you'll see that we have a slightly smoother effect as well. Cool. Now that's great. We've animated in our next piece of video. However, what you can see is that our original piece of video is now being covered by this new one. So we're going to need to adjust this original video with this new one so that we preserve the image and we can see everything that we want to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, I'm going to stay on our top layer and I'm going to toggle to the end position of this keyframe. Now what you'll notice is the playhead actually moves to that area as well so now we can click on our first clip and it's going to keep that same position that the keyframes in and we're going to drop a keyframe here and then we're going to go back to our top video go to the previous keyframe and we're going to drop a keyframe on our original video here as well so we've got the exact same start and end points for this video 
I'm then going to jump to the next frame and I'm going to reposition our first video so that we can see everything that we need to in it as well. And that looks great to me. And then I'm going to jump to the previous keyframe. Cool. And now what I'm going to do is uh, right click temporal interpolation and ease in. Again, that's just going to make the animation a little bit more smooth. Let's have a look at what we've got so far. So as you can see, we've got a split screen effect with some simple animation in there as well. Now, say you want to include another clip into this split screen effect. How can we do that? What we're going to do is we're going to drag a new clip on top of our other clips. So we did our first one at three seconds. Let's do our next one at six seconds on the timeline. And we're going to drag this final clip over on top here as well. First thing we're going to want to do with this final clip is to scale it down and position it roughly where we want it. So as you can see, I'm going to make this about 50 and then I'm going to position it on the edge here and I'm going to position it on the bottom here. This lines up pretty nicely here. We just want to make sure we don't have any gaps in our images. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create a new keyframe on this top video layer by pressing the position toggle here. And then we're going to drop another keyframe one, two, three, four. So that's 20 frames away. And we're going to drop another keyframe 20 frames after our first keyframe. Remember pressing shift and the arrow key will give you five frames automatically. Okay, so we want our video to be fully slotted in by this frame here. And by the first frame, we want it to be completely removed. So we're going to drag it so that it's sliding upwards. So we're just going to make sure it's completely out of the frame. It's completely out of the frame now. And we can just check that back. As you can see, that slides in. Now, what's next? You guessed it. We're going to highlight these keyframes. Right click, temporal interpolation, ease in. And now, as you can see, that slides in pretty nice and smooth. But you can also see that we're losing our information in this frame here as we're covering the face with these shoes. So we can also adjust the positioning of this video when this new one comes in so that we don't lose any of that information. So let's go over to our last keyframe, which is the position that the shoes are in their final place, and then click back on our uh, first video which is our original layer here as that's which video is on the left hand side so we're going to go back to the first layer and we're going to drop a keyframe there then we're going to go to the start of our new layer by using these toggles here and we're going to drop a keyframe there on the original video as well now i'm going to move along to the next keyframe with this arrow here and as you can see her face is covered so i'm going to use the y value to raise her face just slightly so that we can preserve that information. Let's take a look at that now. So you can see the first video slides in smoothly and then the third one slides in smoothly and her head readjusts so that we can still see all of the details on the left hand side. Now let me just give you some quick tips for making sure that this is as polished and as pristine as it can be. One tip I would say is to make sure that we have the video with the hard edge on the topmost layer. Now this is because it's gonna stop any overlapping or any kind of muddling around of the lines. So our hard edge is actually on this right image here. So we can put this video at the very top. Now in our timeline, we know that the right image is video two. We can check that just by toggling this on and off. So I'm just gonna drag that to the top and I'm gonna drag these down so that now the hard edge is definitely not going to be messed around with and I can make that full screen and just check and it looks like all of those edges are perfect. Another tip to make sure you're actually taking up half the frame with your split screen is to go to the program monitor and go over to this wrench icon here and when you hover over it will say settings. Let's left click that and then we're going to scroll down to safe margins and toggle these on. Now what you can see is that's put these margins on our video and there's actually lines to indicate exactly halfway al along the horizontal and along the vertical. Now as you can see our video perfectly intersects with these little lines here which means that it's pretty much spot on and aesthetically it's going to look nice. So that's a tip just to make sure that you can line up your images perfectly according to the screen. 
Thanks for watching this tutorial. Drop a like below if you learned something. This channel is all about helping you aspiring filmmakers and editors to level up your skill set. So please subscribe below for more content on video editing. This is Rios from Cut Academy, signing off.